Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Binky. So this is interesting. So ah, I know I didn't post a lot last year. This is, I have no consistency. I really don't. And that's okay. Um, the world opened up and you know, live in life. <laughs> so I hope you are too. So what I'm doing today is I really this year am really focusing on getting rid of like seriously half the stuff that I own in general, clothing, purses, um, stuff in my cupboards, uh, paperwork, makeup, things that I don't need, things that don't serve me anymore. I want to be a lot more mindful. And so that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be going through a part of my cabinet where I have a bunch of palettes. And the thing is, is that I just, I'm going to get through as many as I can this year. And this is only, I would say one third of my collection, maybe more. I don't think it's 50. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very quick um, declutter. I probably won't get through very many because I want to try everything first. But rather than waste my time and space with things that I really don't want to try, I'm going to get rid of them rather than just try them just to try them out. So that's the whole purpose of today. This is not the best angle. <laughs> so there's going to be change of scenery. It's kind of dark today too because you know what? It's overcast all the time. Okay. So there we go. So this is the Ace Butte and I, I always keep things in boxes which is going to make this go longer but this is the um, Oceanic palette and you know what? I, I, I'm never going to use this really. The only colors I would use would be these here because I don't use blues and the, these aren't the type of greens I use. Now the only reason I'm going to keep this for now is because I'd like to keep palettes that um, have colors that I don't normally use just so I have some on file if I ever want to do anything fun. Um, so that would be the reason why. I just, let's say I just want to get creative and artistic, then this would be the way to do it. So that's why. This is a face palette, Hourglass. I'm not even going to open it. I am going to go through these. I never use them and I want to start using them. This is the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. This is Fabuloso. Yes, this I got in January, I think, and honestly, or the end of December, actually, and I love this. I love this. This is one of my favorite palettes, absolutely favorite palettes. I I love it. So no, this is absolutely not going anywhere. Cute AF by ColourPop. Yes, we all remember this and how we all coveted this. Now, here's the thing. There's a couple shades like this one that I think is just glorious that I would love to keep. Even this. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. I hope that they're showing up. But how many palettes like this do I have? A ton of them. Many. I have not used this in the couple years that I've had this. This is not my color story. I'm more cool tone. This is a bit much for me. I'm going to declutter it. I know that was easy, huh? So, um, ooh, let's see here. So this is a Korean brand and I got this a while ago. And originally I thought it was so beautiful because it is, and there are some beautiful, beautiful shades in it. But the thing is, most of them have plastic, PET plastic. I just want to make sure that this is still the case. Okay. So it's not all of them. It's like this one, but like here's some swatches. It's kind of hard to see. These don't. So part of me is like, no, I need to get better lighting. Ah, there we go. It has been raining here every day, every darn day. So it's like lighting is just atrocious. So there we go. This is, I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll give it a try. I won't use the plastic ones. I just don't like that. I just, I, I don't. It's really frustrating. So these two, this is a Korean brand, and this is, of course, Too Faced Cookie, and it still smells excellent. So this I am going to keep um, because here's the thing. You put these two palettes together, and you travel with them, and they're wonderful. I can even show you what this one looks like. It's just fantastic. Um, it's fantastic. See that? I just, I just love this because I love the Korean shadows because I've been in a more neutral kind of mood lately 
and these are as neutral as it gets. So you have a nice pops of color and you have cool tone, you have warm tone, you basically have everything. So when I was in France, when I was in Italy, I traveled with these and it was beautiful. I think I even did this in Finland too. Yeah, I travel a lot, <laughs> especially now that the borders have opened again. It's like, yay. So those are my go-to. I will never get rid of those. I will use these until the end. And yeah, so those aren't going anywhere. So let's just grab some more of these. Let's see what we got here. Um, It's kind of interesting because, yeah, there's just so much stuff. And a lot of this I haven't seen forever. So this is the Elements palette from Urban Decay. I forgot this even existed. Now, there are some wonderful shades in here. Absolutely beautiful shades. So... It's kind of boring, but yet there are some that are interesting that I do love. So I'm going to try this. Um, the reality is most of them I wouldn't care about. <laughs> like these here. I love these purples. Even this. I don't know. This, uh, if I can find, here's the thing. If I can find shades that are close to the ones I'm interested in, dupes, then I'm just going to get rid of this. Because it's just, this is annoying packaging and I don't care. Don't care. Um, then, what is this birds of a feather? I have been looking for this. Oh my goodness. Yes. Beautiful blues and greens and this is not that one. Beautiful blues and greens and this is not that one. Ah, uh, this is the one that I didn't want. No, this one's not bad. It is beautiful. There's some pretty colors here. Let me just you can see that they're really beautiful the only thing is is this one let me look at this one is just trash I'm gonna say it it never worked from day one this is the one I was really most interested in and you just it just nothing comes up it's just ugh. it's just bad hard to work with I'm gonna keep it um, I'm not normally a Dior girl but they had such interesting shadows that I was like I want to do this and I, this is the rouge I need to quit putting everything in packaging, but it just goes in easily in storage more than by themselves. If that makes sense? That is so gorgeous. I haven't even used this. Look at that. It's more of a summer color than I would use. And the thing is, they're really, their blushes are really, really strong in that the, they're blendable. They're really blendable, but they're, they're crazy. Ooh, here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Okay, the next one is Innisfree, and I got this a while ago. They don't really have this in the U.S. much. I made this palette myself. I didn't use it. Love the blush colors. Love everything about it. It's boring, but I love it. They basically closed shop in the U.S., so, and they're shilling um, skincare, which I don't care about. I'm going to be honest with you. I just don't even care about skincare. Their stuff's not that great anyway. So I think it's kind of a, a, a not a smart move, but what are you going to do? So this is Pacifica. I bought this because I wanted to try it, and they tote natural makeup, which are clean makeup, which I'm not a fan of. I'm just not a fan of. I think it's just, it's destroyed great companies like Bite Beauty. We'll just put it that way. So I am curious about this. I've noticed that they're not very pigmented. But I still want to give it a shot because I like delicate colors like this. So I am fine with it. But it's just, um, yeah. <laughs> I won't go off on clean beauty. Nobody wants to hear my opinion on that. So this is Royal Affair by BH Cosmetics. I don't even know if they're still around anymore. So I, I, they are. I just think they were sold off to Makeup uh, Revolution, which means I won't be buying them much because I don't like Makeup Revolution, to be honest with you. I think I have some of their stuff somewhere, never used it, and I'm just going to get rid of it. But um, this is pretty color story, I guess. But BH Cosmetics doesn't wear well on, it doesn't wear well on me. There it is. So I'm going to declutter it. I just, I never really used it. I think I swatched it a few times. I just, I don't care. I don't care. And that's a problem. So these are singles from Itzy. Does anyone even know Itzy? Is Itzy even still around? I don't know. That's a good question. Let me check. But I'm going to do, I'm doing um, singles and separate videos, but I definitely want to try these. Hmm. It's hard to tell if it's still around. I don't think it is. Looking at it, I just, I don't think it is any longer. It's like on eBay. It's very strange, but they're not like they used to be. So it's kind of a moot point. 
Um, I wasn't overly impressed with them anyway, but um, I don't mean to say that, but yeah. So this is KVD, of course, without Kat Von D. Now, I love this. I'm not going to lie. I got this for like $20. <sighs> the artwork is just gorgeous, and it's the only reason I bought it. Because these colors, look at this. I will never really use. I would use these. To be fair, I'd use these, but none of these. So what was I thinking? Completely off artwork. This is what I need to stop doing, but it is gorgeous. Like, their last packaging has been really cheap looking. So the fact that they could bring this back, or something beautiful like this, is one of the only reasons I bought it. I love red. What was I thinking? So bring some more down. Bring it all down. So then there is this. This is the Uh-huh Honey. I look horrible in yellows. Yellows are absolutely atrocious on me. I love some of these. Like they're well, no, I don't love this because this is glitter. But I love some of these colors. I think it is. No, maybe it, no, it's glitter. Hard to tell from this angle. But um, no, there's just no reason. It just looks atrocious on me. I I was gonna originally buy all these the squares. I think a lot of us were, and then it was kind of like, why am I doing this? gone. This, I'm not, <laughs> no. This is, oh uh, no. Kaleidos, I love these. I don't even want to open necessarily everything because it's going to take, ooh, I just tore it. No, I love the boxes. No, I know. I don't want to tear it. I tore it and it makes me so sad. I knew I shouldn't open the box. I know. I'm very weird about them, but ooh, I love this. I love this. Look at these beautiful colors. Yeah, there's no way in heck I'm getting rid of this. I wish they'd come out with more of these. I don't like the newer packaging. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't like it. I just feel like the old school packaging is what brought me back. It brought me to this company. And I, I love these. I love these futuristic things. I wish they would continue with that. But they don't. This is Shantikai. Really don't care about this. Um... So, let me just do this. One of them's broken, so I end up, you can see in the corner which one's broken. I mean, it's too bad, but it was sent to me that way, and I got a discount on it, and then they discounted it more, so it was basically nothing. I just, I'm not impressed by these eyeshadows. I'm really, they're just eyeshadows, and they're so tiny, and you're paying, what, $75 for this? It's kind of a joke. I mean, I'm just going to say it. I don't mean to be poopy about it, but I'd rather just be honest with people <laughs> about things because honestly, I it's just not worth it in my opinion. It's just not worth it. Um, I know. So these, you know what these are. Busy art. Nobody really talks about them anymore. This was the Koi palette everybody wanted, and then there was this. I'm keeping these. I love the quality. I haven't really used them in a while, but they're very good. They're very, very good. So I'm going to continue to use those. Oh, these are from Odenai. I haven't even opened these, so I'm not really going to swatch them. They're highlighters, and they're very pretty, and they're limited edition. So I was like, oh, I need these. I mean, I would use them as eyeshadows more. The artwork's beautiful. The eyeshadows are fine. I think maybe I'm not enchanted with them as much as other people are. I, I I don't know. I just, they're okay. So this is Smoke Show. And again, it's one of those ones that the that nine pan that ColourPop is doing. I don't buy a lot from ColourPop any longer. I just kind of got bored with them and constantly putting out stuff. It just, they kind of lost me. Uh, but their lip products are still good, but I'm trying to cut back on lip products, so there lies the problem. I'm going to keep this because I have nothing like this. Would I ever wear it? Probably not. But again, it's one of those things where I want to keep palettes, at least one palette of colors that I don't have. And so that's where this comes in. Um, so I'll definitely keep this one. This is what takes so long, is putting them in and out of the boxes. I know it's 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 wrong, but <laughs> yeah, right. So this is essence, fairy wings, and magical things. I don't even remember what this is. Huh? The colors are pretty. Um, it's kind of more my style lately. Ah, oh, that's chalky looking. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. 
they're really powdery. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, what is this? Oh, Laura Mercier. I, I remember this from, I don't know. Uh, this one, I should just declutter, but I won't. I'll try it. I'm not going to get into this too much. This is the Sugar Pill Palette. I'm going to keep this. Never tried it. I am curious about it. want to see what it's about. Huda Beauty. So I don't have to worry about boxes with this. This is the khaki one. And I think, oh, and right there is the other one, which is Haze Sand, which was for, um, those with lighter tones. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use these together like one big palette. I think that would be really beneficial um, for me. Um, I'm curious. I, I remember with the smaller palettes, they don't tend to be as, uh, the quality doesn't tend to be good as the bigger palettes in my experience. But, you know, before I make that judgment, I want to see that that's really the case. Now, this is gorgeous. This, this is old. Um, I use powder products until the end, unless they change color or they start crumbling apart or there's problems, I'll use them. This is a face palette that was for the Pirates of the Caribbean when Lorac was actually still like a brand, the It brand, and now it's kind of died and I don't get it because the products are great. This broke a little, no problem. I'm going to try this. Part of it's the packaging is just so glorious, but I'm going to try this, but it's one of those things that I'm kind of eh about. I'm really eh about. Okay, so I have quite a few in here. Let's just pull these out. Oh, look, Milk Cosmetics. Fantastic. Shouldn't even be there. Um, But whatever. So let's just do this because then we can pile these all back in. Um, So this is Lorac. This is the Unzipped Elegance. It's okay. I don't really love these colors. I think... I'm on the boat. I'm gonna. I'm on the fence. I'm gonna try it and and see how much I love it. Right now, I don't love it all that much. Um, this is a really hard angle. So this is the Ace Beauté again. Like this was the It brand for a while. Then it kind of like. I mean, it's still around, but it's not doing what it once was. But that's the music. Uh, music. The music industry. Well, that too. But the uh, makeup industry in general. I think everybody's just kind of tired of it. So is it worth producing more stuff when nobody's buying stuff? Probably not. I'm keeping this for now because I don't have so many reds and things like that. Um, so in case I ever want to do something artistic or I change my mind, hit my head and get into really colorful items, this is something I would do. So this is the other one. This is the rainbow palette. And I'm just kind of uh, about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm not a rainbow kind of gal. So this is what it looks like. I'm probably going to keep it because again, that, same theory, but I'll probably end up getting rid of this eventually. Um, what I'm going to do is a huge declutter at the end of the year of all the palettes that I go through. I'm going to go through those and um, make the hard decisions. This is more of the light decisions right now. So that's where I'm at. So this is the Archeo palette. This was from Cleonade from back in the day and the Paleo. Gorgeous colors. I know, kind of hard to see with this gorgeous colors. I'm still interested, but I just haven't used them. Um, so they're more of a summer thing for me. Really hard to get back in the day. Everybody wanted them. Everyone. Um, so I'm, I definitely want to keep those. This is Inglot. This company is basically dead too. They still have a store in Times Square though. So that's where I got these. So I'm going to try these, see how they are, though that's another company that's just dying a slow death. This is the Naked Honey palette. I'm not even going to pull it out. You know what? I, I bought this because it was on sale. I have this tendency to buy things, especially Urban Decay, because everything goes on sale. The brand's just not what it once was. I look terrible in these colors. I'm going to try this palette, and if it doesn't work this year, I'm getting rid of it. I like to collect whole collections, and it's kind of dumb at this point, you know. So this is the Peach palette. Oh, this is the peach palette. Um, I'm keeping it. It still smells like peach even. I like it. It's the, you know, it wasn't the original. I got it later on. I like it. This is back when Too Faced was great. Now it's kind of... Uh, blast from the past. It's like a museum here. Too Faced white chocolate bar. I'm the only person in the world who loved this. I think it's great. 
You know why? Because it looks good on me for the most part, but it looks like crap on most people because it's so darn light. It's just so light. It's very repetitive. I got to start using this more. I like this palette. I know. I'm like the only one who likes it. And look, it barely shows up on me. And I'm really fair. It barely shows up on me. Who the heck is going to use this? Me. Especially during the summer. So I want to use it more. I actually, I really like it. I know I shouldn't. I know. It just got trashed. It really did. <laughs> I know. So this was Sugar Pop. Oh my. The only colors I would really use is are these three and this. Whoops, sorry. This, maybe this. The, these four uh, I wouldn't use at all. So I'm kind of having a hard time because I do like these and I do tend to use them. But this one's on the chopping block. I got to be real. It just doesn't make sense. Now, chocolate chip cookie. Do you remember this? The chocolate chip? Oh, what a failure this was. I had the white one too somewhere. I want to try it just to see if it's really as bad as I remember it. It's basically all mattes. Like, I don't even know. Like It was trashed. Look, that doesn't even look good on anyone's skin tone. Like, it just really isn't. And that works on mine. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I can't get rid of it. I cannot. How can I get rid of it? It's so bad. Um, Ciate. I actually like it. Ciate's hit and miss. It's either really good or really bad. And I, I like this color story, so I'm keeping it. I'm really kind of excited to use that. My boring self is really excited. Um... This is, oh goodness, at, at Tood House, that's it, Korean brand, and I only kept this because of this. Only reason I'm keeping it, and only reason I'll probably continue to keep it. It wasn't particularly good. Not at all. I'm not even going to lie to you. It wasn't particularly good. It wasn't particularly good. Okay, so we're just about finished with this part. Oh, there's more. So there's the tickled peach. I forgot this even existed. This is like a little walk down memory lane um, when we are all buying too much. So this is what this looks like, and it's actually cute. Let me see if it smells. It still smells. <laughs> so I actually don't mind this one. I will keep this and give it a try. I didn't hate the whole peach trend. It's just when they kept putting out new things, like God only knows what. It was just like, okay, we got it. Come up with something else. Um, This is like, I got this for really cheap because some place in New York City went under and they got rid of everything. And so it was like nothing. And I'm like, I'm never going to pay for this. It's like an illuminator. I don't really know what it does. I just went, I'll buy it. Yeah. So, I mean, oh, I see. It's it's like an illuminator. It's pretty. It's just a bit much, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We can experiment with this. This will be fun. Um. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. I know. I have a lot going on here. So, oh, my gosh. Remember this. Come on, you remember this? This was Tarte. Remember their April Fool's joke? I see Betch, and then it was the most interesting thing they'd done in years. Yep. That fell, and then they got trashed online because everybody's like, this is like the most interesting palette you ever did. Now, I'm only keeping it for memory's sake. There's really none that I would use. I would use this, and I would use these two. I would never use blues or anything like this, ever. It, I look horrible when I wear stuff like that. When I wear stuff like that, I look like... I don't know. It just doesn't look good. But I like how cheap this thing was. Like, this is even, like, pasted on. It's just, like, let's get it out quickly. And every single other group, every other single group got this out. Like, every other indie group jumped on it and made money off of this. And then they brought it out too late. Nobody cared anymore. I was like, really? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, buddy. So, this one is Kiko Milano. I love Kiko Milano. Folks, I love Kiko Milano. I love this design. Here's the thing. I don't wear colors like this. I don't. I bought it. I wanted the more other the other one that was more um, neutral. Cool. So, I got to let this go. I don't want to. The shadow quality is great. But I just realized I just... I'm actually going to get rid of the box because I'm getting rid of this. It makes no sense. 
it just makes no sense. Maybe I'll keep it in the box for now. I know, I put it right back in the box. It's just the way I am. It just makes no sense. I haven't worn it. I know I'm never going to wear it, and somebody else could use it. So this is by Terry VIP. Here's the thing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this. I have not. I have two of these because I love this so much. I don't even know if it's good. I have to find the second one to make sure I do to start using this because look at how pretty that is. I know it's upside down. I don't want to show all my camera stuff. Uh, there's a mirror, so that's the reason why. Look at that. Only reason I'm keeping it. Only freaking reason I'm keeping it. I know. Crazy, right? So I bought another one on a steep discount just because I wanted to use it and keep one. Dumb. Okay, so now we have more, more and more and more. So this this gets interesting. I'm just trying to get through this one section. Um, so you can see I got through these. I have quite a lot. So this one's difficult. I, I uh, let me let me deal with this one last. I would never buy from here again, and here's the reason. I opened up this palette after owning it for about six months, and the shadows had turned to powder. I have never been so disappointed. I um, reached out to customer service. They didn't really do anything. They ignored it. And so right there, they lost me. So I will not be buying from that company again. Um, this, though, uh, is from Etude House. I bought it. It's fine. I want to try it again. You can see I really went into that one. I don't know what's going on with that. I, I guess it doesn't go on that well, or maybe I was just that obsessed with it. I don't know. No. Yeah, I don't think it's that good. So we'll give it another try. Um, it's okay. This, of course, is the uh, Hindash. You know, everybody loved these, and I'm going to be honest with you, I just think they're okay. I just don't know. <sighs> yeah. Um, this is the Actually, I got this one in uh, my Beautylish box. So I was like, oh, okay, Beautylish gave me this. And I was like, this is great. And it's okay. I, I don't, I, I love the theory behind it, but it's not very pigmented. And I understand you're supposed to build it up and build it up, build it up. But it just, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I just, yeah, uh, I don't know. I think I'm in the minority I don't care for it. I just, it's not that it's bad. It's not that it's good. It's just kind of there. I know, I'm trying to put this back. It's just kind of there. Maybe I just, I'm the only one who's just not getting it. I don't know. I don't know, man. But I, I just, it's a little frustrating. <laughs> um, these I'm going to go through later. These uh, are Cleonade. I mean, come on. Not getting rid of those. Um, this is Sugar Pill. I have two sugar pills. Now, these were just interesting to me, and I bought all of them because I wanted the whole collection. I don't know why I bought them, considering I'm not really big into overly colored shadows. I mean, they're nice for a pop under the eye and stuff, which is how I would use it. This one's a little bit better, but I'm just not big into it. I think I was just excited by the appearance of it, and that's why I did it. Ugh. Okay, Gemini 2. I, I don't know why I bought this. I don't. Not because it's bad. I don't mind melt. They're kind of hit and miss, but I don't mind them. And the packaging's gorgeous. So, oh, that's broken. Are you serious? I had these stored very carefully, and they're broken. you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I had these stored very carefully, and they just popped out. That's frustrating, and that's what I'm talking about with Melt sometimes. This shouldn't be happening, so there's two shadows basically wasted. Ugh. Yeah, so frustrating. I never even used it, and it was stored like this. And the half broke off, and that's just frustrating. And this one's chipping. This is just frustrating. They're very inconsistent, and especially for palette. I mean, I got it on sale, but even still, that's that's ridiculous. I'm not even going to lie. I am so careful with this palette because I know how difficult, like, how finicky their shadows are. So that's really frustrating. That should not be happening. Ugh. Anyway. Um, 
I got this from Beautylish a few years back. It's really good. Boring, but really good. I do like to carry this around. It's when I'm, you know, I'm working with individual shadows. It's very good quality. Not getting rid of that, for sure. Um, so let's look at this. Ooh, is this even going to work? It is. So these are, like, old, like, from, I forget the name of the company. I'll put it to the side. Um, Alter Ego is now what it is, but it wasn't before. Hmm, let me actually no. Let's let's not do that. So, a lot of these are those. I don't want to necessarily get rid of those because they were really good. Now, Alter Ego is still around. I tried their stuff, and it's it's decent. You know, it's it's always decent. And they're knockoffs. We know this, but I always find them to be good quality. You know, I do. I find them to be really good quality, so I don't necessarily want to get rid of them just to get rid of them. Um, and these are a bunch of various shadows. Like, this is Marc Jacobs. You know, I, I, I love this one. I think that's the stiletto. These are the ones I'm most likely to get rid of. Basic bitch and stuff. This was, oh God, this was MAC. I'm just never going to use these. The only one I'd use is this and this. The rest of it, I don't think I would. You know what? I need to just try these and, and declutter them if I'm not going to. Um, Retro Love. Again, this was Bad Habit. That's what it was. This was um, our friend from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was their call to it. And Sublime Palette. And actually, this one's quite lovely. This isn't focusing. Look at that. Oh, that's really beautiful. Actually, I love I loved the color story. I did. I loved it. I loved it. Um, then there's the naked palette. I mean, I got it right before they got rid of it. So I don't want to get rid of that. I'm just double checking with all these. This is Aura. I don't know who this was. Oh, this was supposed to be um, the other one. When they were putting out way too many palettes for um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's beautiful. I have the original too. I don't want to get rid of it though. I really love these. They're, the quality was excellent. Naked palette too. I mean, come on. I'm not going to get rid of these. I'm not just going to get rid of stuff now to get rid of stuff in the bomb. Oh, bomb. Uh, I just, I got this a long time ago. And this is what it looks like. So it's mostly blushes and stuff. I, I, I don't need this. I don't even understand why I have this. So, you know what? This is going to be decluttered. Never even been used. And I'm fine with it. So, oh yeah. This was, um, there we go. Suva Beauty. There we go. This is really beautiful. I forgot how gorgeous this is. Hmm. They don't really put out too many palettes anymore. I don't know what happened. They've kind of got quiet, and they just deal with the um, those beautiful liners. They are beautiful liners. I will give them that. But it's like, I want more. I want more from them. Uh, this is more Alter Ego. Look at these. They're supposed to be Pat McGrath knockoffs. Now, they're not exact, but they're beautiful in their own right. Like this. Come on. Just beautiful in its own right. It really is. It's just like, ugh. I know, it's not exactly the same, but I don't care. <laughs> They're just fantastic. I'm so glad I picked these up before the company went boop. Um, yeah, and actually this is the closest that I had until they re-released this of the one that was just not Divinity. Not Divinity. I can't think today, but the Divinity palette. It's not the Divinity palette. You know what I'm talking about. But I was so glad to pick that up. I just... Uh, 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 will this even fit? It does fit. Yay, I just made more room. I love that. Okay, so we're moving along. More of this. I just, I didn't think I was too impressed by this. Like, I, I just don't. I think this is the amethyst one. Uh, you know what? I'm looking at this. The only colors I'd use are probably these, and I just don't care. I'm getting rid of it. Yep. That's gone. Um, and then this. What is this? Oh, I think this is MAC. Oh, I was wondering where that went. God, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I need to wear that more often. I need to pull that out and wear it. 
I know. It is that fabulous. I have all these beautiful things, and I just don't really use them all that much. These are going back old school. Boudoir. Boudoir. Eyes. I will keep this. This is something that I would use. I'm almost done with a couple of them that I'm trying to pan this year. Ugh. Peanut butter and jelly. I'm still using the old peanut butter one. I'm still trying to get rid of it. This will probably take its place. Actually, yeah. Whatever still smells. Yeah. Still smells. I'll keep it. Um, cat eyes. I know these are old, but I haven't even swatched them. They're still new. I haven't even swatched them. So I'm fine with it. Two faced. Totally cute. The only things I would use is here. And I would. I use them all the time, actually. Too Faced is good for just basic stuff. Um, oh, Ciate. This one's dark, but there's some pretty colors in there, so I'm going to keep this. I do love this. So, actually, I'm pretty darn impressed with this. I am pretty darn impressed. I did better than I thought I would. For sure. And I made some more room. Ooh. So, this is like the last batch right here. There's more coming. I just need to get through these palettes to make a decision if I'm keeping them or not. And I'm using, I'm also using stuff that uh, I used like what I bought last year and then using it to see if it was worth it a year later. So, those will be coming up as well. Oh, I just did those. Ah, oh, crazy girl. Okay, <laughs> I have a lot going on. So, boop. Uh, Kiko Milano, actually, this was on there, and I'm excited by this. Actually, I think I remember this. Actually, I was looking for this because I wanted to use it because I bought it last January and I didn't use it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's supposed to be like a chocolate bar. I'm going to keep this one out because I want to use this sooner than later to see how I feel about it. Um, yeah, bought it last year, and this is the one thing I could not find. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? So I'm going to leave that one out. Um, this is by Terry, but this is a different one, I think. You know, there's the one that was France. Ah, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. So this is what it looks like. I got this one on deep discount, too. I didn't buy two of these, just one. I haven't used it. I don't want to, because look at how pretty it is. I love Paris. I know. It's overrated to say you love Paris. I didn't go to Paris for so long traveled around the world extensively and was like, ugh, don't care about Paris. Guess who cares about Paris now? Me. It's one of the best cities I've been to. Kind of disliked it for a long time. Not because the people did anything wrong. I think it was just like, meh. It's gorgeous. So there's this. Cheers to beauty. This is from Colored Rain. I don't even know if I'm ever going to use this, to be honest with you. I may try it, but it's just the palette is huge and kind of annoying, though this color is kind of cool. Uh, interesting. So, I, you know, I definitely want to give it a try. I definitely want to give it a try. Uh, yeah. I know. Sorry to... This is kind of disjointed. And the reason is because I'm out of practice. <laughs> That's why. Part of it is too, a little secret. I have been struck with vertigo. So I'm a little bit out of it. Yeah, believe it or not. Oh my gosh. This is old school. Cap on D. This is back when... Wow. I know, this is one I didn't know what a piece of work she was. Nice artwork, though. I will give that. But I didn't know. And I never used this. <sighs> Look, I didn't know. And part of me is like, the mats are really good. So I'll give it a try. I just, I don't want to advertise it here. But I also don't want to hide the truth that I have it. Because I do. I have it. I'm not even going to lie. I have it. You're looking right at it. So this is Pat McGrath. These are fine. It's kind of the same old, same old that she always does. I mean, I'm going to say what everyone's thinking. Um, let's see. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is Nomad Berlin Underground. Never used it. I think, actually, yes, I did use this. I tried this for a while. I didn't mind it. It's You can't get it now. It is gone. It's kind of cool, you know? It's just kind of like has some... Like dirty colors, and I love dirty colors, so I, I actually like this one. I, I don't want to get rid of it, I want to use it again. I like their shadows, I feel like they, um, 
there's a place for them. I just feel like lately they've been doing too colorful, and I get it. A lot of people love it, but honestly, most people I know don't wear colorful shadow all the time, though I'm sure they exist. It's just most people don't smoke sessions. I'm afraid to open these now because it probably exploded everywhere. Oh, gosh. No. Beautiful still. Ugh. I mean, I don't care for the marijuana stuff. It's not because I have a problem with it. I don't personally do it. I don't judge those who do. It just seems kind of like when you're in high school and you sneak something from somebody's cabinet, like liquor, and you're like, look how cool we are, kids. That's why I don't like it. I just think it's kind of like, who cares? It's legal almost everywhere in the U.S. now. And it's just not, I don't know. It's like, look, this is the crack pipe collection. I mean, it's not the same at all, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, this is falling out. But this is pretty. I'm going to be honest with you. These are the only two colors I would really use. But I mean, whatever. What is this? It's just eyeshadow palette. Okay. I, I like the quality of hers. I'm not going to complain. Too Faced. This is where we start getting the Too Faced. This is the chocolate bar. I just, you know, there's some pretty colors in here. I, I You know, really pretty colors. So I'm not going to just get rid of stuff to get rid of stuff. But I do want to use these. My cat did this. <laughs> Still smells delicious. Ah, oh, I do love these. I do love the originals. I know most people decluttered them, but I actually really, really like them. So I don't want to get rid of them. I love them, and they still work well, but I want to try them one more time. If I was going to get rid of any of them, it would be the Bon Bon. The Bon Bon just, ugh. I like the cool tones, though, so I take that back, because there's beautiful cool, cool tones in here. And I feel like cool tones are kind of a dying breed. So, who knows? I, I, I like Too Faced in this way. I like their old palettes. They're not exactly what they used to be, sadly. Um, which which is too... It's too bad, really. I, I just... I don't know what happened to them. I don't, I, I don't understand people. But then there's Pat McGrath. This one's just lovely. This one's just beautiful. Oops, is Steven showing up? Yeah, it's so beautiful. I don't even wear dark shadows like that, but there's some beautiful shadows in here. Like, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I know, my voice keep, may keep changing because I have to st sit and stand just because I get dizzy. So, it's not permanent people. It just hits random people. And it was me. So, this was, um, yeah, Bare Minerals. I actually like this. The formula is decent, um, but they just call, you know, people used to really love them and now they're just kind of like, I would buy them when they were on Ulta at the holidays. Now they're not. So I'm kind of like, why? I just, I just don't care, I guess. I'm not going to buy up your website. Go to Ulta. Then maybe Ulta broke the contract. I don't know, but I wouldn't go out of my way and that's kind of where I'm at with it. So then there's these, which are darker than I like, but these are fine. Yeah, actually, those are really pretty. I know, it's Pat McGrath kind of boring, and most people are like, what? So, I'm going to work through this. I'm going to definitely work through this. Um, there's a lot of really pretty palettes here. I mean... Yeah, but we knew this. So coming on the end here. So this is, I hope these are still there. These are Melt. Now, I only bought these because I thought they were really creative. Uh, Dia de los Muertos is interesting to me. And there we go. I'm afraid to turn them upside down. Look at that. I'm never going to use these. These are way too dark. The only color I would really use is that one. So I really shouldn't have bought this, but the artwork is just spectacular on this. Never swatched them, never used them. I could probably sell them, and that's not the reason why I bought them, but I could. And you put them together, and they're just lovely. That's so cool. I just, I bought them because, whew, Um, I mean, look at this. I would never use these, but I love the aesthetic of them. Um, I love the representation of the Mexican culture. Um, yeah, I really do. I love it. And it, it kind of spoke to my soul because I was kind of raised around this stuff. Um, yeah, I 
know. Spoiler, you'd never know it to look at me. I am actually part Mexican, half Mexican, actually. So for me, it's just beautiful. I just, I absolutely adore it. I know, everybody's like, what? I know. I look more like my mom, but my brothers look more like my dad. So there you go. So the only thing, these are all the palettes I'm going to go through, except for things like Dia de los Muertos. I probably won't go through that just because I, I'm never going to wear it. And I probably should sell it to somebody who would. But I just love the artwork of it. So the reason why I put down this towel and the reason why I'm going to do this is to show you what I'm talking about. This is going straight into the trash, unfortunately. So again, had it for six months and this is what happened. Let me put this back. This is what happened. See these? They crumbled. Within six months, they turned into this. It's pure dust. Like you can see, let me see if I can pull this up here. It's pure dust. The emollient is gone. And these were some of the most beautiful shadows I've ever owned. Like this one and this one were some of the most beautiful shadows I've ever owned in my entire life. It's trash. So, I'm, ooh, see the powder? Oh, it went everywhere. I should have known better. I got a vacuum. This is crap. I'm trashing it. I'm so disappointed. Customer service doesn't care. There is a Reddit thread in which people talk about it causing problems. And I just really, that's the last thing I'm ever going to say about this company, but I will never buy from them again. So I decluttered one because it fell apart. And then in the end, one, two, three, four, five, six. I only got rid of six. Yes, I know. I wasn't even going to declutter anything. I really wasn't. But this gives you a good foundation, basically, of what I'm going to be going through. Um... This wasn't supposed to be a big, <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be like this big decluttering. It really wasn't. It was more of going through my collection to see what I have and what I need to go through. So I have been getting through a lot of these palettes relatively quickly. I wear them a couple days, and especially the limited edition. I'm not going to waste your time with limited edition. The thing is, I'm not going to get rid of stuff because it's limited edition. A lot of people do that, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I want it. I bought it. I own it. I'm not just buying it for views, which I don't have any anyway because I never post, but because I actually want it. And I think that's what's wrong a little bit with the community is that you're throwing it out because it's limited edition, then don't buy it. I understand it, it, I, it's just so wasteful, but whatever, that's me. I'm not trying to lecture anyone. Everyone's living their best life, but um, I'm keeping my stuff. So, you know, if you have any like go, I want to see looks from a certain palette that you saw here, let me know because I'm going to start going through and what I'll do is I'll do 10, 10, 10, 10, 10s and 10s across the board. And then I'll talk about them, why I'm keeping them, and why I'm decluttering them. And if the palette is still available, I will do a full video on it. If it is not, what I will do is show looks to the side in the 10 palettes. So this isn't the last time you're seeing these. In the 10, my last 10 palettes that I've used, I will do full-on looks. Again, if it's a palette that's still available, I'll review the heck out of it. So that's how we're going to do that this year. When we go through all of these, again, I'm probably going to declutter several. Probably going to declutter several. Didn't mean to declutter any today, but I did. So seven in total. And I'm actually quite happy with that. Yeah, I'm really happy. And I'm ready to start working on this all. So thanks for joining me today. And here's to a year with me actually posting and getting stuff done and doing what I promised. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Have a wonderful day, my friend. Bye.